Hey everybody, I'm PJ from Princess Craft RV. Today, we're gonna take a look at the 2024 Modbug 12 LRK. A lot of words there. This is a new trailer made by Modern Buggy. Now, what's so extraordinary about it? It's a little different than most teardrops that you've seen. You can see it's a little bit longer. This is their rear kitchen model. Still plenty of space inside. The best thing, it fits in your garage even if you have a standard seven foot garage. Now, to be clear, you do have to take off the rooftop tent, which is an option. So if you don't need that rooftop tent, even with the ladder rack and the awning, still gonna slide right in your garage. The base weight on this without that rooftop tent is around 1650. So if you're looking for something lightweight, this is definitely an option. It's under 15 feet long. If you are not a fan of these really cool blue mountains, I totally get it. There are three different exteriors that you can choose from. So there is one that is more of a black and white uh, mountain scene, I guess you would call it. Uh, you can look that up. And there is a standard one with just kind of the basic RV stripes. So regardless of what you want the outside to look like, the inside is the part that really counts. And the kitchen, Man, this is made to go off-road. It's sturdy. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the construction when we come back outside. But, as usual, let's go inside and get started. So the first thing I have to mention is this seating is so comfortable. I mean, wow. And it's not real low to the ground, so you know, I'm only five feet tall, but look at the headspace in here. Very comfortable. These are custom made. So Modern Buggy doesn't just buy off the rack. They make something thick, very comfortable, and really convertible because this seating just folds right up here. And we've got one laid out here that lays down. Not only has the pads laid out, but kind of a built-in pillow as well. It's brilliant. Now, the length of this is seven foot, so there's plenty of space in here, even for people who are a whole lot taller than me, which it's almost everyone, right? So that's the first thing I notice when I get in here is just how comfortable it is. The width is a little less than five feet, so a little bit narrower than a queen bed, but only by a few inches. Uh, the length is really what you need to pay attention to, right? And when these cushions are laid out, they don't leave a whole lot of gaps. They're not going to shift around on you. They're going to fit perfectly. So no need to add more bedding on top. They're so comfortable. All right, let's move on. The wallboard. It gives you that nice whitewashed cabin look. Really opens it up in here. You do have a white ceiling. Now this up here is going to be a fiberglass, so it's going to be super easy to wipe clean if anything spills on it. Well, speaking of the walls, there is Asdell, not only on the outside construction, but on the inside as well. So you're not going to have a lot of water penetration. You're not going to have anything there that is going to cause that humidity to seep into the walls and cause you problems. Fan at the top, it's gonna to keep the airflow, and you do have doors on both sides. So with doors on both sides, windows in those doors, power fan up at the top, this could be really comfortable in the heat, in the cold, just a really nice space. Now let's start right behind me here and take a look at the storage. Back here, this is a one piece with cutout uh, cubbies here for storage. It's only about five inches deep, but that's plenty, right? I think I might roll up some t-shirts, some clothes, maybe have that handy right here, because gosh, that's what I need when I'm camping. Up above, of course, the switches for the lights and USBs here. Down below, they do have the USB-C plug, super cool. On the other side, more charging centers and a 110 plug. You've got two USBs, the little cigarette lighter. So it really doesn't matter what you're gonna plug in here. There's a connection for it. Thank you, Modbug, that's great. 
So these three bins right here, um, down below, I want to point out that this piece is curved as well. So you do have space that you could use back in the back because you don't need that space for the sleeping. You have plenty down below on the floor. All right, now let's look at the other side because that's where the rest of the gear is. Right here on the left is the television. I know this rig is made for going off the grid, off the road, and sometimes you might be in a campground or you might want to just catch a game, catch the news. I love having a TV in these units. You know, you get caught in three days of rain. Yeah, that could be really useful. Let's look at the storage up here. These storage cabinets open up. Now this TV needs to be swiveled so that this door opens, but of course that TV is on an arm so it can point in any direction. Big cabinets here, you know, these are a foot deep so you can store a lot of gear in there. Open cubbies underneath and still more storage underneath that. You see the open space here? It goes all the way down to the floor and up to the top. So an open space there to put in whatever you want to be able to grab easily. Right here, the converter, and of course it's going to have the breakers and fuses in it. I always like that to be easy to get to. You know, if you have to check your breakers or see if you've blown a fuse, I hate standing on my head to do that. Now, to the right, you will see a solar charger controller. There is a solar panel on the back. We'll talk about that a little later, but it's a portable panel, but it's also mounted on the back. You can use it either way. Anyway, more about that later. It's great to have your charge controller there because you can easily see what your solar panel is doing and check your batteries. Down below, one of the coolest things, a fireplace. Yeah, it really is a nice touch. It gives you a nice ambiance. You've got a couple of different settings here. You've got an orange. I think you've got a blue as well. Let's check it out. Yeah, that doesn't quite look real to me, but you might want that nice lighter ambiance when you're in here with the lights out. You can continue on the settings there and it will give you some heat. So that's a nice feature as well. I, I love the fireplaces for the heat. Now, if you're in super cold weather, you might need a little more heat. In that case, I would recommend maybe a ceramic heater because they work well, especially in tiny spaces like this. All right, we talked about the cubbies on both sides and right above here in the corner is the 5000 BTU air conditioner. Not only is it really efficient use of space there, but that air conditioner is gonna cool this off like in seconds it will feel like. Now really it's going to take just a few minutes but not much. Now we're finishing off a summer here in Texas where it has been over 105 for like three months. So that's been really important to all the people buying and camping in the summer here. If an air conditioner is important to you don't worry a bit about the 5000 BTU. You're going to be like a freezer in here. All right. I like the flush lights at the top. They're all on and off with a touch. Super easy to work with. So that's really all you need to know about the inside, except, you know, this is a really comfortable space. If you're looking for a teardrop and you need a little more sleeping area or you just want a few extra comforts, this is really nice and it feels solid. Let's go outside. There's a lot to talk about out there. All right, let's talk about construction because there is a lot to talk about on this camper. The outside has Asdell as well as the inside, like I mentioned before. If you're not familiar with Asdell, look it up because it's important. When you use that underneath the phylon on the outside, it basically eliminates the need for wood underneath this phylon. And Asdell, it doesn't soak up water, it doesn't mildew, and it's half the weight. Remember, without that rooftop tent, you're looking at around 1650. 
That's incredible. All right, the other thing is, this is an aluminum frame. And that aluminum frame is gonna hold up regardless of if you're on the highway, you always camp in campgrounds, or if you're getting on the trail, off the grid, that aluminum frame is gonna keep this trailer sturdy. Another thing you need to know about the construction here, the floor is a composite. It's called Vixenite. Don't need to remember that. What you do need to know is it is not wood, it's not gonna warp, not gonna crack, not gonna soak up any water, and it is super strong. You could take a cinder block, just drop it on the center of this trailer, not gonna hurt it a bit. Really uh, strong structure here, and speaking of strong, this is made to hold up to 300 pounds. So you can crawl up here, work with that rooftop tent, not worry a bit with this steel powder coated fender. I love the steps on the end. It's just a really solid camper with a really slick look, I think. Now the nice off-road tires are standard. Uh, this one does have an upgrade on it. Standard, they come with a rubber torsion axle. This has the upgraded Timbrin, and that's gonna be great if you're getting off the beaten path and you wanna be out there in the wilderness. So let's not uh, forget to talk about this awning. It is a smaller awning, but it's gonna give you a little bit of shade over the door really lightweight, easy to carry, and mounts to the ladder rack. This ladder rack, again, it is made by Modbug. It holds 800 pounds. Now, I promise you that Skydan rooftop tent is not 800 pounds, but you will find that Skydan on the Modbug uh, units. It is an option that you can get from them and really a nice feature. Look for another video that explains that Skydan rooftop tent. All right, coming back, you've of course got your spare mounted right here, but in the back of this trailer, that is where some more magic happens. This is a light leaf solar panel. It can be portable, you can park in the shade, unhook it, you've got a 12 foot wire to connect it. So you can get that in the sun, still have your camper in the shade. Really nice, and the sun may be on the other side. You undo this, set it next to your camper, face it the direction of the sun, and voila, you have solar. These clips just undo right here. They just twist so that it lifts off here. You can see I'm just doing one of them, but it's very easy for this to undo. And then you lift this solar panel off and turn it whatever direction you need it to be. I know what you're thinking, it could get stolen. But if you look right here, once this is clipped in, you can lock it so that it can't come undone. Nice feature there, really nice if you wanna camp off the grid and you need that solar panel to be working for you. Now let's take a look underneath. This just lifts right up here. And in here you've got some storage. Let's see, cabinet. Again, all of the charging centers, the 110 plug, everything you need right in there to plug in maybe a few appliances or charge your phone, whatever you need. Now down below, it does go down a little lower than this countertop, so you can store some things down there as well. I like that this is a composite. This is not wood. It's not gonna warp or deteriorate on you. And this countertop, this solid surface, wow. Let's look in here. Again, just a big open cabinet. Close that up. A netting right here above it and a drawer underneath. Now this drawer is only about 10 inches deep, uh, but it goes down maybe another eight inches or so. So it's a pretty good space. You don't want to waste an inch in a trailer like this. Inside you will see, this is gonna be the hose that clips onto the spray port, I'll show you that in just a minute. And then over here, the cooler. Now this is a Camco cooler, slides right out on this aluminum tray. I like that it's very accessible. Open it up and you've got smaller compartment there and this larger basket compartment right here. So a fair amount of space right here. There is also a Blackstone griddle that comes with this camper. It's not extra, 
it's standard. And that's gonna give you the option to cook anywhere you want. You are not gonna need to just stand right here in the back and cook. You know, it depends on the wind, the sun, where you would like to uh, grill your food. Just head on out to wherever it works. And before we leave this space, I wanna point out that there are more charging ports right here on the left. So you've got them in the cabinet and right here on the side. Very accessible, whatever's easiest. Lights on the side, I just think this is a very usable kitchen and it's sturdy. No wood cabinets to move around, nothing needs adjusting. They do have a little bit of pressure when closing them. That's so they don't open up going down the road. I don't know, a really nice setup here. This is a little over six feet tall is my guess. I didn't measure it, but when you're standing here, because of the curve, you've got plenty of headroom. So if that is a problem on these trailers, this one has solved that with that nice arch up there. All right, I love this kitchen. I love the basics, the versatility, and the sturdiness of it. But let's not forget down below, there's a receiver hitch in case you wanted to carry a bike rack. Maybe you wanna carry another tray to hold a little more gear. You've got a 300 pound uh, availability on that hitch back here. Let's keep going, there's more to see. Right around the corner, your 30 amp plug is right here. And you do have a fresh water drain right below because you have a 10 gallon fresh water tank on this trailer. That's not bad for a nice little teardrop like this with all the features. Right there is the fill for that fresh water tank and just above is the spray port. Now you saw the, the hose and the nozzle in the back. Really nice to have that spray port, especially if you're at the beach or if you're camping somewhere and you might get muddy, anything like that, set that up right here on the side. I always have that available when I'm camping. Nice light again on this side. Remember, 300 pounds on this fender, very sturdy. The door on the other side, they do have magnetic catches that hold that door open, so you don't have to worry about clipping anything in. And let's talk about this powder-coated box on the front. Nice latch on it, just like a standard toolbox. And you'll see the battery on one side, and behind that, the battery disconnect. You only want to use that battery disconnect when you're putting it in storage, not when you're traveling and not when you're using it because it's literally like taking the cables off of your battery. And next to it, you'll see extra plugs, a few more pieces of gear, but all that comes with your trailer. And about half this box is storage that you can fill with whatever you want to take camping. This camper, you know, like most smaller teardrops, has a hand crank on the front. You can always upgrade that if you want. You know, we have a lot of people who will upgrade to electric jack and put a bike rack right up front. Very easy to do on this trailer if you wanted to look at the jacket bike rack. Um, a lot of people who are interested in these trailers really like adventure. They like being outdoors. They're very active. That's why I mentioned that. Of course, you do have space on the back for extra gear or that bike rack as well. So there is a lot to look at here. Again, I wanna mention the graphics because this makes for a real, I don't know, different trailer than what a lot of you are used to seeing. And there is a classic model that just has some stripes across the back. So you want something a little more subtle, they've got it. If you want something just a little black and white, with the mountains, that's available as well. They have some really fancy names for them that I can never remember. Check out the website. This is by Modern Buggy. They go by Modbug for short, but Modern Buggy, I believe it's modernbuggyrv.com. You can see all the styles of this 12 LRK. Well guys, thanks for watching. I always enjoy showing you the coolest trailers the new things that are out there. And you know what? Thanks for coming back, checking it out, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.